Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nastasha. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram if you haven't done so as well. For today's video, I'm just sharing with you guys my top 10 must-have sofas. I've actually had a ton of sofas over the years. You guys know I'm blessed enough to be gifted a lot of sofas. I've moved a couple of times and I've had to get different sofas that I purchased with my own money. So I know a lot about sofas from my experience with them so I thought I would just compile a video sharing with you guys like my top 10 must-have sofas of all time that I absolutely love I did a video where I shared with you guys sofas under a thousand dollars so if you want to check that out on my channel if you're on a tight tight budget and you want to spend less than a thousand that would be a really great video for you guys to check out as always the links to everything I talk about in today's video will be in the description box down below and without further ado we can just jump right into it all right guys, we will start off with my absolute favorite sofa I think ever possible. This is the West Elm on D's. Let me know in the comments down below if you've been subscribed to me long enough to remember my old living room that I'm showing you guys here. I seriously think this is my favorite living room I ever had. I have had this sofa, I believe, for about five years now it has been. This, I still actually own it to this day. So this is by West Elm. Just a little backstory about West Elm. They have really great quality stuff and I love buying from them just because they really do back their products. If you have a problem with an item you got from them, even six months down the road, they will back their product so much so you're spending a lot of money but you're spending it in a good place they're really great customer service is amazing i just love them i've never really had any issues and anytime i have had an issue with west elm they fixed it quite easily um i love their stuff it's absolutely amazing so this sofa is just so versatile so it's from the Andes collection, but I should say that it is an entire collection. So you can get this in several different fabrics, several different configurations. You can get an L shape, a left chase, a right chase. Mine is the one that has the adjustable ottoman, meaning I did have to pick a side that the ottoman would fit on, but it is maneuverable, meaning you can move it from side to side. So as you can see here, you'll pick that it's a right chase and you'll just have a little bit higher of the armrest on one side but however that ottoman piece can be moved to the other side and you can use it as is so really great if you're not like in your forever home or if you want to switch and move things around a lot that's what i loved about this sofa i was able to just kind of switch it from wall to wall and just kind of move the ottoman you can also decorate this sofa in any design style possible um, it's such good quality there's absolutely nothing wrong with mine I just ended up getting a sofa with like a fancy surround sound system in it, which you guys will see later. However, I have not gotten rid of my sofa yet. I still have it just because it is such a great sofa. So if you're interested in something really high quality, this would be my number one option. All right, next up, I thought I would throw a leather option or two in here as well, because some people just prefer a leather sofa. This is another sofa that I had. This is also my old apartment, another design that I really miss. Again, if you guys have been subscribed that long, this was before the last apartment. Um, you guys have been here for a really long time. Thank you guys so much for the support, by the way, but let me know in the comments down below if you guys remember this. So this is the West Elm decal, and pretty much everything in this photo besides the mirror is from West Elm. So as I mentioned, I'm pretty experienced with their product. I buy them a lot of times for clients and other projects that I work on as well. So just exceptional quality. I mean, look at the leather. I talk about this couch quite often as the one that got away. I should have never got rid of it. It is on the smaller side. They have like a couple different size options. I just needed something a little bit bigger when I moved. However, I feel like I should have put this in storage because I miss it every single day. I'm honestly on the fence with just buying one because I love it so much. I'm always nervous that they may get rid of it. So if you're looking for something that's leather, but super cozy and looks good, it's this one. And this one is in the dark molasses color. So I know it looks a little bit different in the stock photo, which is what I'm showing you guys here so this is the same color that I got I know like on the website it kind of reads a little bit different in terms of color but I usually like to go on Pinterest sometimes if you're buying a sofa that you can't see in person go on Pinterest or go in their section where you can see photos of people that actually have it now you see in the other photo that they have online here it's reading more of the proper color but it's just such a beautiful sofa again 
It was beautiful quality. I just got rid of it because I was kind of moving to a bigger space and I needed something that was more of like a sectional. But if I ever get back to a space where I just need a sofa with two accent chairs, I'm definitely getting one of these. I love this so much. All right, let's talk Target now because it's a little bit more budget friendly. This is like the Target version of the cloud. I found out about this sofa actually from a friend and they have this sofa and it's perfect. So if you're looking for something that is more cloud-like but you are on a budget, this Target option is amazing. As you can see here, you can actually buy it in separate pieces. So totally modular. If that three seater isn't your taste, you can get the separate different pieces. You can kind of mix and match and make it whatever you want. Also, if you're in the market for a super large sofa, that large cloud look, but you don't have a lot of money and you don't want to spend a ton, this one is awesome. It has amazing reviews as well on Target. So a lot of people love it. And I think this is a really great budget friendly option. Another really great Target option is a lot of the options that you're gonna get from the Studio McGee collections. She's doing amazing furniture pieces at amazing price points. I love this one with the wood base. Again, kind of reminds me of the sofa that I showed you guys in the beginning, the Andes, the one that I love, um, but with the wood base. And as you see here, you can add an ottoman to it just like how mine was, switch it from side to side. So again, a more affordable option because it is from Target. The reviews are insane. Everyone says it's super comfortable. I love the way, again, you can style this in a little bit of whatever you want. Like whatever your design style is, this is going to work. The only thing is it does have that wood base. So may not work for absolutely everyone, but you could always change the color of the base and stain the wood a little bit darker. They also have it available with the fully like wooden base, which I've been seeing this a lot lately. And I think it's a great option if you have kids or if you just don't want stuff to get under your sofa. This is perfect. It's gonna save you a ton of time just like cleaning up and everything. Again, super awesome, can be styled in so many different ways. It just looks so cozy. And as you can see here, I did a close up on the fabric just so you can see how nice it actually is. So these options from Target are budget friendly, but they look amazing. So they definitely don't look like they came from Target or cheap or anything like that. They're really great. So this is one that is kind of more new on my wish list of sofas to own eventually. This is the Cove from Pottery Barn. They have an entire collection. So again, you can get this in different fabric choices, different sizes, pretty much whatever is going to fit into your space. And I just find that this is a really, really awesome investment piece. I'd say it's in the median range of price point, so I guess I shouldn't necessarily say investment piece, but this is a great option if you do want to spend a little bit more money. I'm going to tell you why. I'm showing it to you guys here just so you can see how perfect the overall just structure is and how it's made is it's a little bit more of a modern twist on your typical normal sofa, right? So in my opinion, this is going to just last and over time withstand the longevity in terms of quality, but not only quality, just overall style. If you wanna get this and you wanna move around, and again, you want to change your design style, this is something that's always going to look like it is in style and can be styled in many different ways. It's not like super modern or super trendy to where you couldn't use this for years to come. So I love Pottery Barn, another company that just really backs their products, has amazing quality. I've never had any issues with them. So if you're in the market for something just really nice, I think these look beautiful. All right, we're going back to another West Elm favorite of mine. This is the Harmony from West Elm. It has the really nice solid wood legs on it. Again, another option that you can get in a couple different sizes. I believe this comes in four different sizes, as well as a ton of different fabric options. And I mean linens, velvets, whatever you want. West Elm's got it. You can order swatches. I just love the extra pillows that this has. I love the look of the sofas that already come with the extra pillows and if you want to style it with any throw pillows you can but you really don't have to i love that look this is super cozy one of my friends has this and it is really like plush and just really nice and comfortable to sit on so again another great piece that i think can last you for a really long time and is a good option in terms of sofas 
All right, another great option if you're going for that very like plush, cloud-like look for your sofa. This is the Crate & Barrel Leanne Ford Collection. Again, I have had the ability to sit on this at the store. I do think it's super comfortable. This is a slip cover sofa, so all of that comes off. It can be washed or dry cleaned, kind of whatever your preference is in that aspect. So really good option if you are gonna go for the white sofa or the lighter color. Make sure that everything can come off and be washed. Uh, because you are spending a lot of money on it and you want to make sure that it can be. This is another sofa that I feel like is really timeless. You know, you can kind of take it with you wherever you go, which I think is important to think about when you have a sofa, especially if you're not in like your forever home, or even if you are in your forever home, you never know if that's gonna be your forever home, you might move. So definitely when you're spending a little bit more money, ask yourself those questions. Is this going to be able to fit into different design styles? If I wanna switch things around, if I wanna move furniture around, will this piece still work in this area? Are things that you wanna think about, but this one is a really good one. All right, I wanted to add a secondary leather option in here for you guys. I know leather is not always everyone's pick, but some people do like it. It's easy to clean. It definitely does last a little bit of time. This one in particular is from CB2. It comes in two other different colors, a black and a gray. Um, but I personally really like the brown just because they do have a wood base on them. And to me, the brown pair is the best, but the leather on this is exceptional. I actually saw this the other day and I almost purchased it, but I'm not, not quite ready, I would say, to make that purchase. I'm working on a project that I'm actually probably gonna take you guys along the whole process with shortly, um, but whenever that project is like complete and everything is finalized, this I think is gonna be my sofa choice um, for that project just because it's durable, it looks really good, and I just personally really like it. So I know this sofa isn't gonna be everyone's style, but if you're in the market for something that's leather, this one is a really cool option to choose. Another great option from Target is another Studio McGee find. Again, I'm telling you guys, Studio McGee has some awesome furniture. And keep in mind, like you don't have to spend a ton of money on a sofa, especially if you're like me and you're just not sure like where you're gonna be living and you wanna live like in different cities and stuff. Might not be a good idea to always splurge. This Target option might be the better option for you. Again, it just really depends what you're looking for. However, the fabric on this one is pretty amazing. Again. And I just absolutely love it. I love the skirt of it. I love how it's kind of got that, you know, skirted look to it. It almost looks like it is a really expensive, like slip cover option from Pottery Barn. No one would know the difference. Like this doesn't look like it's from Target. I love that that's what Target is turning into. Like Target has stepped it up so much that everything is really good quality and you don't even know if it's something that you're getting as a look for less. I mean, look at the close up on that fabric. It looks exactly like the West Elm fabric from my first sofa that I shared in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If there's any other videos you would like to see, you can always let me know in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.